A few years ago, we were looking for a way to up our academic engagement. So we looked at a bunch of um, quality research and we landed on STEM. And then we also um, understood the importance of arts. And so we changed the STEM into STEAM. So STEM would be um, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And so we still teach the Common Core Standards. It just may look a little bit different. It's hands-on, it's integrated, it's writing and reading while doing a scientific um, experiment. So we're just approaching it in a little different way, um, which our kids are buying into. The students love the, the hands-on and the inquiry-based learning um, and just like being facilitators in the room and letting students guide their own learning has been really cool to experience um, as we get deeper and do more with STEAM. So it's definitely um, allowed that higher level thinking that we're really looking for in the room. How has that looked in education, what has that done just for the building, the atmosphere, uh, the vibe in the school, kind of having this STEAM approach? So I think we have a fantastic uh, building vibe. Uh, what it's done is really created this cross-curricular approach and hands-on learning. So we're trying to integrate everything we do into every other subject and trying to give our students all these opportunities to get hands-on. So in music, for example, because that's my wheelhouse, uh, we get we talk about science you know how does material and size and shape affect how an instrument sounds we talk about math because rhythm is really just math over and over again so it gives the kids this chance to not realize even that they're doing all these other subjects we were given full autonomy to pick what we wanted to do to get our students engaged to truly integrate curriculum and we decided this approach and it has been phenomenal just being part of being trusted to be part of the planning process from like the ground up from what do you want to do as a staff to be a special school to solve some of those engagement problems to what it's become at this moment it's been really powerful so for me it's just been a really really beautiful uh, process to watch the students get really engaged. You know, what has it done like with the kids? Like what have you what is what has the learning been like for them? Have you seen a change, you know, learning music and then kind of having the science and technology approach? What has that been like watching them experience it? So I think it really energizes the students learning because they when they do make that connection, you can see that light bulb go off and they get this shine in their eyes where they're like, I know this. I did this, you know, and they start telling each other. You see them going around the room going, hey, did you notice this? Did you notice that? And I think it's really gotten them more invested in their education. How would you describe the vibe here? Um, you know, the, the people you work with, the students, what does that look like for you every day? I would definitely use the words like compassionate, empathetic. Um, we really work together as a team. Everyone's very willing to lend a hand, go above and beyond. And I think everyone here really leads with their heart. And just like Sarah said, you know, just being like, in every decision we make, we take the kids into consideration. And that's our first thought process when going through things. And, you know, it takes a village. It takes really all of us. And just that community that we have has really strengthened us. And I would say, like, that's an, it's an amazing feeling to be a part of. What could you say to parents, right, who may be considering a different approach to education? Um, why? you know, this is the place to send their child. Why would you recommend Haskell Steam uh, Academy to the parents? Well, we don't have a zone, so we're kind of a melting pot. Anyone in the city limits can choose us. Um, and so I would say, if you're looking for something different, come visit, come feel what it feels like and come see what it looks like and, and just get the overall understanding. Um, we have children from all over the city. We have children of so many different ethnicities. Um, we're just a, a good melting pot here in the middle of Rockford.